Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. Today we've got the special site for 6.3 finally updated. This is going to be for 6.35 and apparently there's some stuff that I need to look at. Now, obviously, 6.35, we don't have a date on that yet. It is looking like March, um, sort of mid-March. So we should be seeing more information about a date soon, which is really exciting. But we've got three new sections. The, the last section is just a compilation of all of the images and stuff they've added. We have items and we have the challenges section. So let's jump straight to the challenges section then. And it should come as no surprise what has been added to this if we scroll past uh, Mount Ordeals and other things in the Omega Protocol. We have Eureka Orthos. Um, I believe there is just a new image for this. It is basically... Um, they've, they've done a write-up as well, but this is the second image. So this is the first one. Which I believe is slightly different, but if you've not seen this before... Uh, Eureka Orthos is basically like Palace of the Dead or Heaven on High. It is a deep dungeon. Uh, for content leveling from uh, obviously level 81, I believe, all the way up to 90. Um, if you want to do the leveling content and then the subsequent floors beyond that will be for obviously getting items and mounts and minions and also prestige, right? And to clear it for achievements and things. There's a huge community around Deep Dungeons, so I'm looking forward to see where people go. And the second image is of presumably one of the boss fights within Orthos itself. Um, which is this Allegan Mammoth, I think we can call that. It's got like an Allegan Sphere. It has a band around its head which sunglasses with neon rims sit on and like an Allegan body. And then it has like this, I don't know, it looks like Revolver Ocelot's hat or something, like a lieutenant's hat or something. I'm not sure. I'm not, uh, maybe somebody else knows if this is significant in any other way, but like a military hat. Um, so that's quite interesting. The, the other thing to pay note to here is that there appears to be like an Allegan blade here. Is this a new weapon? Because this samurai is using uh, something with neon Allegan stuff. It could be just, um, you know, stuff that we've already got in the game before. Or it could be something new. I'm not, I'm not sure... I don't play Samurai, so I'm not sure if this is new or not. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. But yeah, it looks like the room's quite interesting. We have these three other mammoth sort of AoEs going off at the same time, which is blocking three squares in this arena. So presumably these things come out in, you know, at a set time, and then whichever ones came out first go off first, that kind of thing. Similar to how in Palace of the Dead and Heaven on High we had the same mechanics. Uh, we also have orbs on the floor, so presumably they might go off interesting fight looking like um but yeah they're always quite simple um, and there's always a, a path through them we've got ourselves uh, our healer over here the thing that makes me question this is because i'm not sure what these new lifts are either they are like just like floating crystals or something like elegant crystals i'm not sure what those are again if if anybody knows if this weaponry has already been in the game um please let me know if it's not then that looks fairly new to me um it could be you know the the magitech stuff i'm not sure this is in the late third astral era when the ancient Allegan empire was at the zenith of its glory researchers toiled deep under the crystal tower to uncover secrets which might uplift their motherland to even greater heights their laboratory was dubbed eureka orthos where impossible concepts of immortality, cloning, and dominion over the divine were made reality. So fantastic was this research that the legend of Eureka has endured through the ages, and it now falls to the star's foremost adventurer to bring the laboratory's buried secrets into the light of day. So of course, everything to do with cloning was for the Emperor, um, researching immortality, things like that for Zande. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if there are any uh, Zande clones in here. There should be. Um, but yeah, it's full of lore. Um, in terms of lore, though, there won't be much of a storyline. I don't think it's mostly gameplay, but I'm sure you'll still get little bits and pieces and uh, obviously the nature of it being underneath the Crystal Tower. I can't wait to delve these halls, to be perfectly honest. Right, moving on. Uh, past Unreal, which we've already got in our game. We've already got Tataru. 
Uh, Hildebrand Adventures, obviously, in 6.35. There's no new info on that. Mandeville Weapons. Tool Enhancements also coming in 6.35. Can't wait to see those. Uh, for the Laporit Tribal Quests, there does appear uh, to be some new information. I'm not sure if this picture has been seen before. Um, it might be new. I think it probably is. So we've obviously got the hub for the tribal quest, um, which would apparent, you know, you would imagine it'd be on the moon. Um, and of course, this new image, they're in like this almost boy band-esque, you know, the same t-shirt or something, or like a club t-shirt. I cannot wait to get stuck into this. I love the quests, especially the tribal related quests in the game. They're always fantastic, especially the latter ones have been really quite, you know, off the wall uh, and comparatively to the previous one uh, which was quite serious in tone a lot of the time with some hilarity i can imagine the loporits are going to be completely off the wall i cannot wait for that and it says with the moon no longer needed for interstellar evacuation myriad tiny voices cry out for new purpose fortunately for the erstwhile starship crew their own dreaming way has no little experience in fretting over such matters and is determined to help each and every loporit find their way very cool i can't wait for that uh obviously we've already got a custom delivery so where's all the other new stuff then island sanctuary stuff yep 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 um crystalline conflict holy moly i'm scrolling down quite a lot maybe that is i think that is it for the challenges section yeah let's go straight to items then so uh that's we, we've already got those oh okay this is new <laughs> Is this a reward from the Laporit tribe? That is probably one of the most adorable things I have probably ever seen in Final Fantasy XIV. The real question though, the first question on my lips, and I think most of you who know me will, will be knowing what I'm about to ask, can Vieira wear that hat? <laughs> because if they can, the Quadra ear is going to be fantastic. What about Rothgar as well? Can Rothgar stick these on the head? I really hope so. But yeah, for a, for a Lalafell, they're, they're adorable. But um, yeah, I, I really like those. They're just, just ears that's, that are stuck onto your head. Lapora ears. What's not to love? And um, I, I can't wait to get that. That's a really fun and... Uh, indicative reward of what you can expect from that tribal quest probably complete lunacy and uh, i'm all in for it absolutely all in very cool stuff <laughs> it was it was worth looking at this update today for this page alone <laughs> oh absolutely fantastic well I'm, I'm excited to um try and photoshop my character with these ears on now later for a thumbnail so there we go but uh Yes, excellent stuff. I think we, what was this? What's the view to media? Ah, right. So this is just uh, bigger pictures. If you want bigger pictures of any of this stuff, if you come to this special site that's in the description, you can uh, you can find all of the pictures here and just open, in, uh, open the stuff in the new tabs. There's some really good artwork here as well. Uh, really cool stuff. And the trailer's there as well. But yeah, very excited for 6.35. I think most of you will probably already know that but um yeah if there's not too much on on the special site yet i'm sure there'll be more information one of the biggest things though i think most people will agree is eureka orthos having another deep dungeon another leveling leveling experience as well as all of the rewards that are going to be packed into that there's usually multiple mounts minions and there's there's usually um you know all sorts of things really there's, there's too many things to even mention uh glamour you know but the potentiality for things to do videos on, especially for myself as well, because I'm a bit of a collector, um, is, is just unparalleled. Very excited. Anyway, let me know what you think about um, the, the ears in particular. I think that's going to be the main focus. <laughs> uh, if you're a Vieira and you're concerned, let me know. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, quadra ear, here we come.